Hello everyone and welcome back to the Visual Studio series. In this lecture we are going to discuss and learn the most important three lists in the Visual Studio platform or the Visual Studio IDE. IDE again stands for Integrated Development, <coughs> Integrated Development Environment. So you may, you may know and you may don't know how many lists or windows in the Visual Studio we have. Basically, we don't even have to count them because we have many lists in the Visual Studio. But mainly, and in the in the normal using, we are only using uh, I think around or five or six lists in the Visual Studio, and we have uh, main or most uh, main three lists in the Visual Studio, and the most uh, three important one of them, they are the toolbox list. Uh, or the uh, toolbox window and the properties window and the solution explorer uh, let us start one by one until we finish them so you can uh, benefit from this lecture the first uh, list is the toolbox uh, from its name I think it's clear it's it's uh, the box of tools that you should use or you will definitely use to design your program so for example we can use the button tool uh, the label for the button or for the for any tool we have uh, for example the text box I'm looking for the text box it's here for example so it's clear it's basic and it's so uh, it's so nice to learn <laughs> it's simple the toolbox list or the toolbox window basically have all the tools uh, all the things you need to design your program professionally you have plenty and dozens from the dozens from tools and the second tool and the second window related to the first one so the properties window related to the toolbox window and that what what makes it so simple to learn the visual studio platform and how it works so the first step we use it uh, the tools that we need and we put the tools that we need to design our prog design our program so okay we use it three tools that's what we want that's it then by going to the properties window we will change the behaviors of, uh, of these uh, tools for example I want to change the, the font size the font size for the button uh, the font type for the text box I want to change the, the button color it's mine I can do all of these things from the properties window for example just by clicking on the button then going to the properties window we will find here this text uh, button 1 and here I have all the options and all the properties that related to this button. For example, uh, I can change its name. I can change the back the back color, the background color. For example, I can change the font style, the font size, the four color, which is the the color of the font inside the button. For example, white, and that's it. Then by clicking, for example, on the label one, I can do the same with the label one, all, all of these properties. Uh, we sometimes have, by for example, we selected three of them, and by going to these properties, we are not going to find anything here. But we will find the common properties that by changing them, for example, the properties, the four color, black, all the fonts will be black so that's it by selecting more than one tool you will definitely in the properties window find uh, the the common properties and by changing them you will change the this property in all of this the, the tools that you selected so I hope that it's clear and let's jump to the third list and the last one uh, the third uh, list or the third window is the solution explorer uh, in the previous uh, in the previous lecture, we talked and discussed and learned how to create a new project in the Visual Studio. So, and when we when we created that project, we found only one form in the project, which is here, one screen. 
But for example, I have uh, a management system or a program that contains two forms, for example, and the minimum, uh, uh, I think. So if we have two screens or two windows or two forms, we can add, uh, when we create the program, we, we will find only one form. So if we want to, cr to, to, to create uh, another form, we will do that thing from the solution ex solution explorer by going to the solution explorer list and uh, right click uh, on the project name then going to add we will have we will get many options the one two three four five six the sixth option is the windows form by clicking on it you will get this window again check the windows form form to add we get an, we got another one so when we go to solution explorer again we find the form one double click on the form one we have some tools here and then clicking double clicking on the form two this is our the, this is our second screen and so on so so you can add uh, uh, as as many forms as you want as you need design them by putting tools from the toolbox uh, toolbox window then uh, change the behaviors and adjust your tools from by using the properties window and that's it so and that's it for this lecture indeed so i hope you benefited and enjoyed in this lecture if you have any comment or any feedback please put it down in the comments it's going to help me a lot to provide to improve and uh, make the content better so thank you very much for watching and see you in the next lecture